A new Pokemon Go update is here with a brand new shiny Pokemon that is going to drive me insane. Welcome to the Fashion Week event. We've got new Pokemon in the game, we've got new costume Pokemon, and a new shiny that again is going to just be difficult. I need to find some field research tasks though, and god, if we can get a shiny Krogunk with a hat, it'd be fantastic, because we can actually evolve this finally to one of probably the rarest shiny Pokemon ever, at least now, shiny hat Toxicroak. I have a shiny Toxicroak, but the one with the hat is extra hard to get, because well, you have to get the hat Krogunk. So we're hunting that and a couple others today. Now, although that shiny is rare, that is not the one that we're looking for today. What we're looking for today is this. A lot of field research. Now, Furfro just had its shiny released, and it's not just one shiny. This is gonna be one of the most difficult shiny hunts <laughs> in the game. The reason why is because Furfro has, what is this, eight, six, nine different forms? A lot of different forms of Furfro, which means catching one or two shinies is not going to cut it with this. You have to catch like nine <laughs> for for each and every one of the forms to complete the family, which is really difficult. So we've got the Furfro research that we're doing in the wild and to find that basically, well, field research overall, all the encounters of this event. Catch five Pokemon will give you a Murkrow. Make three nice throws a Skitty. Make five great throws a Marini, which we have to catch today, brand new Pokemon. Use 10 berries to help catch Pokemon is a Blitzel with the costume. Another field research for the Furfro. God, it's a Glameow. I'm sorry, what? Take a snapshot of a Blitzel in the wild will give Furfro. Take three snapshots of wild po Pokemon will give Furfro or 700 XP. Take a snapshot of your buddy, Furfro. Take a snapshot of a Glameow in the wild. Oh, there we go. Glameow or Furfro. We got the Glameow. Catch 15 Pokemon gives you this guy, Krogunk. Make three great throws, Eevee. Three great curveball throws in a row, Marini. And the ones we're hunting today, anything with a snapshot encounter for the Furfro. Hey, look what we found. It's our first Marini in Pokemon Go. Nice, this thing looks so sick. Wow, okay. Well, there was technically one new Pokemon brought out during this update, and it is this Pokemon. And if you wanna know if its evolution is any good, we'll talk about that a little bit later because it's not good as a raid boss counter, but it could be good in PvP. I actually don't know yet, so I'm not sure if this is worth catching. Well, it is getting in the Pokedex though. Always love a new Pokemon, nice. In the Dex, Marini, very cool. Also, it like, shoots something out of its head. That's so sick to look at that. Bang. Wow. Cool Pokemon. And here's a nice example. Okay. Here's four or five kilometer eggs. Just kidding. Everything I was going to say. Just kidding. One, two, three, four. Actually, you know what? This is nice. Speaking of eggs, one part about this event that I like a lot that we'll be doing a lot of are the eggs. Hatchable Pokemon. There's only four. Costume Schmoochim. Very rare. Hat Krogunk. I need one for Toxicroak. The new hat. Poop. And hatch Shinx. I'm kind of down. This will be for a future video though, stay tuned. But as I was going to say, this is a nice little cluster representing the spawns during this event, including actually some wild costume Butterfree, which can be shiny. And there's actually one wild Pokemon that's not in this cluster that I really, really recommend catching if you see it. It is Absol. Absol is spawning in the wild with the glasses, the costume Absol. It's going to be a little bit more rare, but remember that Absol has a mega evolution. So getting candies and XL candies for it, it's pretty good. Plus you can mega evolve a costume Pokemon. So that's kind of a big thing here. So if you see an Absol, definitely grab it. Now, <laughs> one more thing about Furfro. We've got three more Furfro research we're gonna check right now. Gotta take a snapshot of my Shundo, which is almost best buddies. Furfro having multiple forms isn't technically the only reason why it is gonna be the new hardest shiny hunt in Pokemon Go history. It's because some of the forms are regional. Not regional as in you can get them in a raid if your friend is in another country. Regional as in you have to go to that other country. Okay, there's nine different forms for Furfro. Matron Trim, Dandy Trim, Debutante Trim, which is only in the Americas. Diamond Trim, which is only in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. Star Trim, only in the Asia Pacific region. La Reine Trim, only in France. Buki Trim, only in Japan. Pharaoh Trim, only in Egypt. Check out the shiny. And the Heart Trim on Valentine's Day, globally only though. God. No shiny. So in order to complete the Furfro shiny family, you have to catch nine shiny Furfros and travel the world. <laughs> I've never even been to Egypt, you know? Like, like this is a tough one to do. But I'm down to do it, and the goal for today in this event is to catch as many Furfro shinies as possible. It's spawning the wild, it's in the field research, and it's in raids. Unfortunately, it's not in the seven kilometer eggs, which would have been great, but catching nine of these shinies might be my new life mission. Two more Furfro checks because I can't find a freaking Blitzel to save my life. One, two, oh, that's a Glameow. And another three encounters. I wonder where the shiny rates are on this thing. And another one, come on. God, and the last one. God. 
Okay, back home, but I did get something super sick. Out of the field research, I ended up getting, check this out, a 100% EV. We got a perfect EV. Oh, that's so cool. This is such, I, I don't know what I'm gonna evolve this to. I, I literally have no idea. I'm gonna hold on to it as, as a hundo EV for now, but what a random fun hundo. Okay, the hunt's not over. Also, as a part of this update, there's some brand new special boxes in the shop, which are usually great because they're helpful because this event's all about eggs and raids and stuff. So I made a video breaking down the value of these special boxes, the, what you're getting in savings. Are they worth buying? Are they good? Are they bad? That video is on the Clips channel. I'll leave the link on screen somewhere. So check that out and subscribe to the Clips channel. A lot going on over there, including Guzzlord coming to Pokemon Go. That video's up there too. One last thing to do, we have to complete our fashion week research, which gives us a freaking, a bunch of balls, allure modules, and an opponent appears, which I don't think we've ever, what is this? Have we ever had this before? Oh, what is happening? When I say, see a floofy Pokemon, I just want to hug it so tight. Eee, what am I, what are we battling? Quirky challenger. Okay, we got a, Oh, it's Furfro. It's all Furfro. This makes sense. Got it. Oh my god, we just two-tapped that. What is this? Marini? Oh, we just one-tapped the Marini. What is this? What's the last Pokemon? Are we having... It's dead is what it is. What just happened? Okay. Easiest win of my life. Five Pokeballs, 500 Dust, three Pineapps. Cool. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, <laughs> check out the other videos on the screen, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Take care.